and this bit of paper. Peg it on here. Mm -hmm. What's happening? It's growing bigger. It's growing bigger. And what else is happening to the... Oh! oh. It's going blue. <gasps> it's going blue, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's going blue. Is there anything else apart from the blue you can see? Black. I can see light pink. Light pink. So we started off with a black dot and the water's going through the black dot. What do you think that means that we're now seeing these different colours? The, the blue is separating from the black and the pink is separating from the black. Very good, Samantha. Okay, so I've got some strips of paper here and we've got some different pens. What do you think might happen? It'll turn another colour. So would you like to try? Yeah. Don't put the dot in the water, so just dip the end of the paper in, that's it. I can peg it over the top. Shall we watch and see what happens to the colours? Here. Yeah. Because you both used different pens, didn't you? Mine's blacker. Yours is blacker? Mine is more blue. Yours is more and, blue? And mine isn't turning the any colour. It's not really, there's a wee bit of blue green. So what does that tell you about these pens? Do you think oh, these pens oh. were made? Differently. They were made differently, weren't they? How can you tell it's not the same black ink? Because it's different colours and patterns. This process of separating a sample of inks out into its constituent colours is known as chromatography. This literally means coloured writing. It works with ordinary water, but if you'd like to try using about a tenth of the volume in salt, you can get better results depending on the inks that you use. I've used ordinary kitchen roll, but you can also try using different types of paper, such as coffee filter papers or even loo roll, so long as they'll absorb the water. Because different coloured dyes travel at different speeds in the liquid, an ink that is made up of different dyes, like the black ink that I've used, can be separated out into its constituent colours. Now, I've got a puzzle for both of you. I've got your initials on these bits of paper, but we don't know which pen wrote them. How do you think we could figure that out? Oh, 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 by writing all the pens on the top. That's one way and then doing what? Oh, 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 they'll oh. both, they'll both um, have different colours when, when, the, when the water touches them. Uh -huh. They'll both have different colours. Yes, yeah, so how will that help us to figure out which pen it is? Um, because we've used all the black pens and paper. If one's ex exactly like one of those, we know which pen was used. Yes. Do you think they'll all look the same when they're dry? So I mean, it looks like that one. We've had loads of fun doing this experiment. If you'd like to learn more about chromatography, don't forget to log into the website and download our worksheet. We'd love to see your photographs and videos of you doing this activity too. And don't forget to subscribe for more Sorry. great experiments. <laughs>